Well, spring is here and what a great time. Everybody's thinking about planting and trees are always on the mind of, uh, of gardeners and whether you should add a tree and doing it properly and selecting the right tree. So when's the best time to plant a tree? Well, probably, I guess you could argue fall. The problem is that there's not the uh, supply of trees isn't as great as it is in the spring. Right now, nurseries are loaded with trees, so you can really find the variety. So spring's a great time as well, and the sooner the better to plant your tree. But there's some kind of some unusual, this is a, uh, an evergreen magnolia that uh, is kind of cool, kind of an interesting specimen tree that uh, grows pretty good size and it gets 15 to 20 foot tall. So that's something kind of cool. These are very popular. This is a, uh, a weeping cherry. Now, it's not actually a real, what they do is they actually graft this top on there, but people do like them. They stay small. Sometimes I think they get to be kind of a pruning nightmare as the trunk grows and these kind of get all the way down to the ground. But people, you know, they love the, uh, the show of flowers in the spring. So still a really popular plant. But if, you're, if your uh, space is medium sized and you want a medium sized tree, you have to be careful about some of the trees that you plant. Full size tr uh, shade trees can get, you know, 70, 80 foot and really take up a big footprint. This is a nice medium. This is a, uh, a flowering cherry right here. Gets uh, just about uh, 25 foot at its full, you know, full uh, width and about 12 foot wide. So there's a series of kind of flowering cherries that are kind of cool. If you're into uh, magnolias and that, uh, the beautiful bloom in the early spring, this is nice. And again, stays kind of a, a smaller variety, uh, 15 uh, foot tall or so, uh, 10 to 12 foot wide, uh, kind of an oval shape. So kind of a, a cool, interesting thing. And again, you can't beat that spring color. How about a wet spot? The river birch, you can't beat. Now, some of the varieties of river birch, they, they can be messy, they can be get iron chlorosis. Heritage is uh, one that's uh, pretty decent, disease resistant, but doesn't mind the, uh, the wet feet. And this one has kind of that peeling bark that is, is kind of an attractive thing that draws a lot of people, and, but really grows big. This, uh, so this is not on the corner of the house type of plant. You wanna put this and give it plenty of space, 70 foot tall, but again, a nice, it really performs a nice screen. And of course you can't beat for shade trees, maples. This is autumn blaze, but gets big. But the, the beauty of the color is unbelievable for a, a maple. That's what makes them so popular. But when you're planting trees, let me step back here. You wanna make sure that you dig, when you're gonna dig the hole, dig it twice the size of the container. All right, twice the size, and you're looking for the flare. See the flare of the trunk there? That's the, that's the spot where you're going to plant it. You know, people plant trees, tend to plant them too deep is a problem. And also, this is a biotome by Espoma. Highly recommend mixing this in with the dirt before you plant. It really helps with transplant shock, and it really gives you a, 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 an advantage of making sure that that tree gets settled in and lasts for years and years.